I think your morning cocoa puffs are turning you into a hysterical woman. <laughs> you are unbelievable. You know, I don't know why I put up with you. You're controlling, you're irritating. There you go again, nag, nag, nag. <laughs> you're only proving my point, little lady. To put up with, to accept or continue to accept an unpleasant situation or experience, or someone who behaves unpleasantly. Examples. You know, it's no big deal. I can put up with anything for three days. Comic-Con's five days. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why don't you just tell him you don't want to go? I can't. It'll break his heart. I mean, he's always making an effort to do things with me he doesn't enjoy, like going outside. See, you guys are seriously considering this? Yes. And you think you can put up with Sheldon? Well, I'm a Hindu. My religion teaches that if we suffer in this life, we are rewarded in the next three months of the North Pole with Sheldon, and I'm reborn as a well-hung billionaire with wings. Um, it's basically just a simple question and answer game now. Well, what's fun about that? You expect me to be the host of a boring game with just people standing around answering questions? Well, there'll be women in bikinis holding up the scores. Let's play bamboozle! To stand around. To stay in one place doing very little or nothing. To waste time. Examples. Vegas? I thought the party was on the rooftop. Surprise! Just a decoy, my friend. So there's no roof party? Oh, no, there is. We're just not going. This is how good a friend I am. They want you to spend your 30th standing around drinking flat beer 10 feet above your living room. But not me, bruh. I pulled out all the stops. Private jet. Balderrama suite at the Bellagio. But if you really want to learn the mechanical side, I can teach you anything you want to know. And, and instead of standing around watching, you can help us build your smaller guidance system. And with all these new skills, you'd be able to fix any model train. You'd be the king of the train store. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a girlfriend. I'm already king of the train store. OK. I think we should split the troops in half and carry out both plans simultaneously. Troy, your plan will lure people off the ice cream truck, allowing Jeff's troops to take the stronghold. To carry out, to perform, or complete a job or activity. To do something that you have said you will do. Examples. Could you hand me those painkillers? Just wanted to bring you up to date on some school-related news. Given my condition, they've informed me that I'm no longer able to carry out my duties as PTA president. That's a bummer. Yes, it is. By the year 2030, there'll be computers that can carry out the same amount of functions as an actual human brain. So theoretically, you could download your thoughts and memories into this computer and, and, and live forever as a machine. <laughs> We're already in the city. The main part with the buildings. What am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do tonight? And if you tell me that I have to drive back to Scranton to the satellite party, I am going to throw up. Okay, I'm going to throw up. I'm throwing up. You're making me throw up, Ryan. To throw up. To vomit. When food and drink comes back up from your stomach and out of your mouth. Examples. I'm sorry, Rach, I didn't know. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine, but can someone please make sure that that sandwich is gone when I get out there? I'm on it! <laughs> I can't believe this. I shouldn't be the one making her throw up. Dude, relax, Ross. It could happen to anyone. Yeah, not to you, because you know this stuff. I don't know any of it, and I'm the father. Oh, it's Bernadette. She says they're running late. The baby threw up on Howard, and then Howard threw up on Howard. <laughs> Well, he didn't throw up on the baby. That's a win. <laughs> you know what? I am tired of living in fear of this guy. I'm gonna go see him and finally say all the things I should have said in high school. Well, pick on someone your own size. To pick on. To criticize, annoy, or punish someone repeatedly and unfairly. Examples. Oh, at least that would be something. <laughs> oh my God. Did you hear that? She hired me because she thinks I'm good. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, she didn't hire me out of pity. It wasn't so she could pick on me in front of her friends. She actually thinks I'm good. You know, I'm not a crying kind of guy. Well, come on, man. There's got to be something that gets you choked up. 
Like, uh, uh, what if you saw a three-legged puppy? I'd be sad, sure, but I wouldn't cry. Okay, uh, what if the puppy said, help me, Chandler? <laughs> All the other puppies pick on me. <laughs> I see you bought Mama Italia marinara spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yep. That's the sauce my mother uses. She likes cooking Italian because, according to her, that's what the Romans made Jesus eat. Interesting. I'll have to have you over for spaghetti some night. I'm hungry now. Have over. If you have someone over, they come to your house to visit you or to stay with you. Examples. Thank you guys for having us over. Oh, yeah, this is fun, couples night. Yeah, I don't know why we don't hang out with married couples more often. Well, because every time we do, you make jokes about swinging and scare them away. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It's not like I moved to Europe. I just moved across the hall. And we would have you over all the time if it weren't for Monica's allergies. <laughs> You're right. I could never lie to you. She hates you. What do you got for me, Wildebeest? I think they're on to me. The story's starting to fall apart. Calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. We may have to kill her. <laughs> Bernadette, I'm putting you on speakerphone. They're just asking you all sorts of questions I can't answer. Just change the subject. To fall apart. To break into separate pieces. To fail completely and be unable to continue in the usual way. Examples. You stole me. So I'm the bad guy. Great. Well, the story isn't over, Ted. It'll be years before we know who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. I mean, yes, divorce sucks, but sometimes things need to fall apart to make way for better things. You can get off my set too. You're fired. What? You can't fire me. I'm the star. I I'm the girl that goes bananas. It says so on the poster. The star of the movie is whoever wears this. <laughs> Hey, if you're gonna fire her, then you gotta fire me, too. Wow, that fell apart really fast. <laughs> well, I've had it. I am done. I can't. I can't live with him for one more minute. Wow, so where are you gonna go? I was thinking here with you. <laughs> you know, I just can't help feel bad about Sheldon. I mean, how's he gonna get by without you? He's got Amy now. Yeah, he does, but it's not the same. To get by. To manage with difficulty to live or accomplish something. Have enough of something such as money or knowledge so that you can do what you need to do. Examples. Great job, champ. Who said you can't build anything? My dad, the police, a doctor. You got a gift. Trust me. Take shop. I think I'm gonna. Hey, how'd you get to know so much about everything? From my dad, mostly. He taught me how to use a drill, change a tire. Everything a man needs to get by. I'm just glad I have someone to pass it on to. I'm a little low on cash. How much you got? Nothing. How can you walk around with no money? I'm cute. I get by. Great news. My mom sent me my old Nintendo 64. Oh. <laughs> Terrific. You know what this means, don't you? Break out the Red Bull. It's time to rock Mario old school. Break out to suddenly perform a particular action, to present something for use, especially something that had been stored. Escape from something such as a situation or way of life. Examples. So Leonard still hasn't made a decision yet? No, and I've really been laying on the guilt. Did you break out the sad eyes? You mean these bad boys? <laughs> I am sorry. You're giving us our clients back. If we could just focus and go down the line and everyone would say, apology accepted, I think we would all feel better, and then we can break out my gift to you, complimentary white chocolate bark. Nobody likes this stuff except for you. They wouldn't make it unless people liked it. Phoebes, play with me. Oh! <laughs> this game is grotesque. 20 armless guys joined at the waist by a steel bar, forced to play soccer forever? Uh, hello, human rights violation. Uh. Well, Phoebe, don't feel so bad for me. After they're done playing, I break out the little plastic women and everybody has a pretty good time. Hurry back soon. This is the Jonestown of dinners. I feel like I'm in jail. You know what happens to guys like me in jail? 
They get really into push-ups, and I am fine with my upper body the way it is. It did feel like a prison, and that meant only one thing made sense conceptually. We had to break out. We need to do a prison break. Yeah, two years ago, after a deep gum cleaning, I thought I got on a bus, but somehow wound up on a booze cruise to Mexico. <laughs> They put you under for a cleaning? Yeah, they have to. I'm a biter. <laughs> to wind up. To be in a particular place or situation, not because you choose to, but because of other things that have happened. Examples. I mean, it's better than you just, just moving here because it's us together forever, and that's, that's what I want. We've only known each other for six yeah, weeks. I know, so what? I mean, who's, who's to say? Does that mean we, we can't do it? Look. I was with Carol for four years before we got married, and I wound up divorced from a pregnant lesbian. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ready to call tech support? Give me the number. Probably wind up talking to some foreign guy who's reading from the same manual I have. My father, you jerks. You are unbelievable. You know, I don't know why I put up with you. The baby threw up on Howard, and then Howard threw up on Howard. That fell apart really fast. Pick on someone your own size. How can you walk around with no money? I'm cute, I get by.